crazy things have been happening. From Ives win at Music Bank being questioned, VVs calling out Mnet for their shady tricks, to Hype being accused of paying off reporters to write positive reports about the BTS enlistment. Buckle up, cause this video is gonna be heavy, guys. People have a lot to say about Big Bang, and I'm pretty surprised. Even though Big Bang's comeback with still life is doing great in terms of numbers and streams, they're still being attacked by netizens even after I've won over them at Music Bank. On April 14th, Big Bang actually won at M Countdown, but on Music Bank, they're their win was snatched away from them by Ive, who won with their latest hit, Love Dive. Of course, this isn't the issue that Ive won over Big Bang. I mean, the girls literally slayed with their latest comeback. The issue is that netizens are taking it too far. After Ive won, they started to spam online communities with malicious comments against the Big Bang members. They're calling them druggies and criminals. One netizen wrote, This is justice. The druggies should screw off. Another one wrote, Justice was served, and I rather not see criminals winning number one. Now, this isn't the only controversy thing that happened on Music Bank this week. What some netizens found a bit suspicious was the high score of IVE. When compared to Big Bang, it was really crazy, and some people feel like there might be something else going on behind the scenes. To be exact, IVE's score on Music Bank was over 12,000, while Big Bang's was only above 4,000. People are already voicing their opinions. One netizen wrote, So the number one all depends on broadcast scores now. Why is their score so high? And another one, Because of the broadcast points, who can tell who will be number one every week? And lastly, but other other idols would get tormented if their broadcast score was this high, whether they win or not, though. While you'll be making up your mind about the situation, let me tell you one more shocking thing. Soonmi revealed that Love Dive was actually supposed to be her song, but she rejected it. I know, don't even get me started. Soonmi, what were you thinking? She said that she felt like it was meant to be for a group and not for a solo singer. That's why she rejected it. However, netizens pointed out that Soonmi's song Potapipam has a very similar beat and it's pretty much similar to Love Dive in other aspects as well. Netizen shared the ooh part really sounds like a Sunmi song, and I can't believe that I'm saying this, but I'm finally agreeing with netizens. Yes, that part would totally fit Sunmi's song. Sunmi actually admitted that she was thinking about keeping the song for a very long time, but eventually rejected it. Well, things happen, but I really need to hear Sunmi singing the song, like ASAP. It looks like Mnet and Queendom producers are in hot waters again, because our girls' VVs have had enough of them in their dirty ways. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the evil editing controversy that's been going around for some time now. It first happened already when the show began, and VVs were the victim of evil editing. They were targeted probably by the producers of the show in order to create some drama. The group exposed Mnet already back then, and quickly explained that what was shown on TV didn't happen in any way that was shown. Basically, the editors are targeting Sheen B from VVs, and they're trying to portray her as an evil senior who is mean towards the younger idols, and who is having the resting B face. A few days ago, fans pointed out this fact again by saying, Sheen B's evil editing is getting worse in the second episode of Queendom 2. Then Sheen B went online and exposed Mnet for their shady tricks. She said, The episode where I appear in, it's edited badly. I was so pissed. My scenes were edited in a bad way. It was devil-like editing. That's what happened. Well, Sheen B really had enough and came up with great ways of showing that she's being targeted by the producers and editors. On April 14th, when the group arrived for the filming of the show, Sheen B stepped out of the van holding her phone up. On her phone, she wrote in big letters, I'm in a good mood. This was her way of preventing Mnet from doing her dirty, and since the camera were rolling the whole time, they couldn't even cut the scenes apart and make it seem dramatic. And when the group was watching other groups perform, they also held signs with words to prevent the producers from twisting their reactions. The sign said things like, I'm concentrating right now, and I'm amazed at them. Honestly, I'm really happy that they're doing this because it only shows that they came to play fair and that they're having none of this evil editing. It's understandable that the producers want to have the show as dramatic as possible, but for the sake of what? Netizens would just attack VVs, and we all know how crazy netizens can get. Anyway, Stan VV's the Savage Queens. I never thought that I would say this, but netizens are getting a bit annoyed with BTS. Maybe not even that much with the group, but with their company. Hype seems to be getting on the nerves of many people in South Korea, and it's all due to the enlistment exemption conversations that they've been having. Before I get into this, netizens are blaming the new management of Hype for setting the boys up and basically trying to milk their success as much as possible. So what happened? If you're unaware, there have been numerous articles popping up lately about Hype having conversations with congressmen regarding the enlistment of BTS. Hype denied having conversations with the congressman, though. However, despite the members stating several times in the past that they would enlist, the public in Korea has a feeling that Hype was trying to push the idea of them not enlisting more, and it looks like they have been having some shady conversations behind their backs. A post appeared on Pan that talked about a call with the office of the congressman, Song Il-jong. Apparently, someone called the office and discussed the military exemption with the representative of Song Il-jong. The representative said that the groups that hit number one on Billboard should be allowed to get exempted from the 
military. This was allegedly said in a joking manner, but as fans pointed out, BTS isn't the only group that hit number one on Billboard. On top of it, the person who made the call also said, in some countries, the group EXO is said to be more popular than BTS, so the EXO members are also subject to military exemption? This is a great point which many fans grabbed, because despite EXO's immense success, neither the members nor SM Entertainment have ever had discussions about the military exemptions. Netizens are really getting frustrated with this topic, and they're making some really big points. What we need to understand is that military service is taken extremely seriously in South Korea, and every man must enlist according to the law. If they don't, there are certain consequences which basically make their lives really bad. Netizens also pointed out, even people with brain tumor in their early 20s who don't even have a single penny in their pocket are subject to fulfill their military duties. So why is BTS justified to be exempted? Because they have a good reputation? They have a lot of money? Are BTS members a privileged class in Korea? As you can see, this is really getting heated, and people are now dissecting BTS's lyrics. They're saying that BTS ridiculed the enlistment when they sang about it in their music. The comments are mostly blaming Hive for this controversy because, as I said previously, BTS members confirmed that they would enlist. The comments go like this. At this rate, people are starting to beat on BTS's achievements, but this is all the agency's fault. Or, it's amazing to see even the media turning back on them because the company is unable to do their work. At this rate, whether they go or don't go, it'll be just as controversial. According to the Post, the media in South Korea have been previously pretty neutral or positive about BTS and their enlistment, but this has shifted recently. HYBE is being accused of paying the media to write positively about BTS. Why are they suspecting HYBE of paying off reporters? When BTS had their performance in Las Vegas, HYBE invited 100 reporters to America as well. It wasn't just an invitation, though. HYBE paid for all of their plane tickets, hotels, meals, and other extra things. South Koreans are pointing out how weird this is. In South Korea, there's a law called Kim Young Dan Act, which was passed in 2016 and is basically an anti-corruption and bribery prohibition act. People are suspecting that HYBE might have broken this law. Shim Sok Tae, a professor at Semyong University's journalism school, shared his thoughts on this. It is unusual for about 100 reporters to go on a family tour as a group, considering the enforcement of the Kim Young Dan Act. It is unusual for HYBE to support so many media people's overseas business trips, and it is also unusual for so many media people to participate in such event. Another professor, Park Young Hoon, shared, It is possible to reasonably suspect that the BT BTS agency High planned this family tour with a purpose in mind, but this cannot be proved immediately. Of course, South Koreans are reacting to this controversy. Their company is really smearing their name. Seeing how they are giving so many benefits to these 100 reporters really shows the intentions of the company. Or, their companies are doing all kinds of shady things with their money. Stop this and just enlist when time comes. It's really heavy as you can see, and as the professors hinted at, the company's actions would need to be investigated to actually see if they were being shady or not. What we really need to keep in mind is that there's a huge huge difference between South Korean fans and international fans. As I already said, South Koreans take the military very seriously, and that's why their reactions to these accusations are so strong, while international fans might not care about the military exemption at all. It's really all based on the cultural differences. The saddest thing is that we cannot tell what's true and what's not, plus it's obvious that the group members are probably frustrated as well since they're the main topic in this controversy. Anyway, share your thoughts in the comments, please refrain from sending anyone hate, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye! Bye.